Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life. Today we're going to talk about fallen angels. Now, we're told they're aliens. I don't care if that term because it sounds kooky. It's, it, it makes you necessarily think they look a certain way or they don't live here or you're crazy or weird if you believe in them. They're called fallen angels, fallen sons of God in the Bible. Uh, look, Jesus is not too good to be born of woman. Neither are we. That's why you can have angels born in the flesh. That's 144,000. The whole world's going to be. Lowercase e l o h e m, meaning ruler or God in the heavenly dimension. I should do a video on that too. Lowercase c, Christ. Lowercase m, Messiah. Echoes of Jesus always deserve hell in the lake of fire, saved by grace. So, anyhow, these fallen angels, they are, there is definitely 7,000 names of them, meaning 7,000 families. They led, they were the first fruits of the first fruits of Satan, meaning the rotten of the rotten fruits, who led the rebellion of the 144,000 sodomy rebellion orgy of Vulcan mind meld, consciousness assault in the first earth age. They have all different types. Now you hear about the 57, Heinz 57 varieties or whatever. Uh, I don't know that that's true. They may be. That's a little signature, 57. But, you know, there could be all kinds of different varieties. Now, the trick is that, you know, these big, bad, mean reptilians, absolutely real, straight from Jesus, they look evil. That's not going to be, deceive a lot of people. The little gray men, you know, they still kind of look evil. The real deceivers are the ones that will call to be Nordic, Pleiadians, Galactic, Federation of Lights, people channeling these devils is what they are, all claiming to be nice and holy. They'll even tell you they're, they're Michael the Archangel, they're Gabriel, they're Metatron. Metron's a devil's boy. He'll claim to be the real Michael. He'll claim to be Michael, and I think, I believe Hilarion will come to be Gabriel. We'll see. Uh... They're all evil. They're not born of woman. They didn't even get in the game. They're such sissies. They never had to, you know, burp, fart, puke, piss, get the flu, have the dangling flesh. And now they got tartarized in the Bible. Now tartar means they turned into a salt, like lots of ways. Turned into a pillar of salt. What it means is, imagine you took a slug and you rolled it in salt. It would shrivel up. Because that's the truth of the word of God that shrivels them up. <laughs> and by the way, salt is N-A-C-L. I believe it's four minus four. Four electrons, meaning like, no, it's shaped like a cube, like the crystal state in the kingdom of heaven. I actually don't remember what the electro neg ne electronegativity is. It has to do with the, you know, the balance of ions. Fine, look it up. But that's the crystal state in the kingdom of heaven. So, they're all deceivers. They will play the good cop, bad cop. Now, you can expect the false alien deception like Project Bluebeam to do what? Scare people, them, track, chip, track, track, chip, control them, whatever. Then it will inoculate people from the real alien invasion. When the real alien invasion, fallen angel invasion comes, people are going to say, ah, oh, we've seen that before, and they don't even care. Let's get slaughtered. I mean, it's just very sad, but this is the nature of majority. The majority's got to be wrong because the majority has to compromise, and the truth cannot compromise. That's huge. Remember I said that. So these fallen angels, you'll see this juxtaposition of good cop, bad cop, and for those who don't know, Project Blue Beam is a plan to project, a provable plan to project perhaps off the chemtrail as a silver screen backdrop. I don't know that. But um, to project fake Allah, Buddha, Shiva, Jesus, whatever, this skankor of Babylon, Mary, who's Eve the whore of Babylon, all of that. That will be fake. There will be real invasions, though. This is the end times, in new beginning. So the good cop ones will claim that we'll get those reptilians, we'll get those grace, and it'll be soft and friendly and nice and flowing and angelic and super and friendly. <laughs> devils and here's the real kicker they're all men <laughs> we were men in the first earth age the purpose of women which is beautiful is to echo in that sense God physically birthing creating new humans now she's the receiver from the male but to the child she is God like in that she birthed a child that to me the spiritual bride of Christ but I'm not physically having any baby so the fallen angels are all deceivers, not a single one of them. Not Nessera, not anybody claiming to be nice and holy and enlightened. They'll all tell you they love Jesus, and they'll all tell you he's just one of many great teachers. No, 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 no. Jesus is God, and everybody else is crap. Period. Less than crap. Crap hasn't sinned. We've sinned. Period. All of a sudden, come short of the glory of God. Period. Done. Thanks. These are the fallen angels. 
They will be absolutely gorgeous or they'll be hideous. And if you're hideous and you like horror movies, then you'll think they're cool and you'll eventually start looking like them. I'm talking seven, eight feet tall reptilians with the big beady eyes and the queen of England and the whole bit. All real. And while I'm at it, Columbus saw reptilians. I freaked out. I was reading about Columbus and he said they ran to these iguanas. Now they, repel, they repulsed him. They finally took one. They taste like chicken. <laughs> what that means is Columbus saw reptilian. Columbus was a devil who pretended to be a Christian. Just like when Dominican Republic, he said, you know, the Count of Monte Cristo and the Mount Monte Cristo, whatever it is. And there's a scene of the, uh, uh, you know, of Jesus. What he's doing is telling you how he's, re how he's crucifying Jesus and replacing him with Cain. You can even see pictures of Jesus the supposed Jesus with iguanas under him. What they're telling you is that Cain, the false Jesus, has headship over the reptilians. I mean, what would you... What? <laughs> look up a picture of reptilians online, even if you think it's a joke. Now, look at an iguana, okay? I was reading about how Columbus saw these iguanas, and it was like wherever. It was Cayman Islands or Bahamas or all of Puerto Rico, all over there. St. Lucia, land of the iguanas. And while I'm at it, he called one of these islands Tortuga. Tortuga means turtle. America looks like a turtle. A turtle is a... Goes into the hollow earth. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm telling you, huge revelation here. Blow your mind. So the iguanas in the Cayman have special blue, blue blood iguanas, which are like the special super luciferic. Can I? Iguanas. The Cayman Island. Cayman means like indestructible man. Cayman is a crocodile. So there's these big old Leviathan cockatrices. Leviathan cockatrices. Oh, God, it's crazy. It's all real. So the fallen angels are the fallen angels. All of them are bad, especially the good ones that will, you know, you, I, I, God showed me that it's very possible you're going to see evolve, uh, uh, one of these fallen angels, a good one. Give her a magic space beam, and all of a sudden the Fukushima radiation is gone. Now you just need to be one with the world and everybody all the time. One big spiritual orgy. That big bad mean Roger Lund. Railing his authorities. That's not the love of a Christ. That's not the love. All about that. You're going to hell for fake love. You want to know the biggest reason people go to hell? It's for feeling of love. But love can't exist unless it truly exists. So if love isn't anchored in the truth like anything else, it's crap. And it's a fraud. Thanks for listening, everybody. Be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life.